Since the dawn of our species, humanity has instinctively sought out knowledge. We have mapped the world, explored the stars, split the atom, and peered back into time and space to view the beginning of it all. However, despite our myriad accomplishments and revelations, there is one ultimate mystery which has defied understanding. How do eels Yeah, Japanese comic artists have put forth some interesting oh, theories, but there's it. little concrete evidence to support them. Despite looking like a big old dick with eyes, the eel possesses no genitalia. You have to cut the little f open just to figure out which sex they are, which for me is far too much effort. Yet we still have eels. How? Well, luckily for you, a bunch of voyeuristic creeps have recently figured out how these swimming dongs do the deed. Eels are a distinct species belonging to the order of this big fucker of a word. There are many other eel-shaped fish which we commonly refer to as eels, but these are imposters, pretenders to the throne, merely phallic phonies. It's kind of like that one kid you met freshman year of college who spoke with a British accent despite being from a logging town in Washington, and for some reason insisted everyone call him Ska Boss. Eels have long, sexy bodies and can have tiny scales, embedded scales, or none at all, like the European freshwater eel. They breathe through their skin and can survive out of water for nearly two days. They're also known to bury themselves in mud during winter for hibernation, or in cases when there isn't enough water. Personally, I just switched to gin, but uh, to each their own. Eels spend much of their life in fresh water, yet the sea is where their oceanic orgies take place. Always good to have a separate venue for an orgy. Nobody wants to host that. Better to bring a dish for the buffet and let someone else clean up. An eel's habitat has a significant impact on their body. Eels living in saltwater tend to be softer, leaner, and taste different. Meanwhile, freshwater eels are bigger and more firm. And who doesn't prefer a nice, big, firm one? History is full of famous perverts who all spent far too much time thinking about eels and not enough time thinking about why they're obsessed with nature's double dildo. Aristotle theorized eels must be spawned from rain mixing with mud. How this big Greek ended up being remembered for his intellect is baffling. Rain mixing with mud just makes watery mud. Every child knows this. How the f did Greece end up a superpower? Another famous idiot, Pliny the Elder, theorized eels were born of the skin shed by other eels. He was, of course, wrong, but this also ended up being the most coherent thing to ever come out of his dumb mouth. Years later, the father of modern psychology would take up the sticky torch, known for his obsession with all things cock-shaped. Sigmund Freud couldn't resist his lust for eel balls. One day, while a medical student at the University of Vienna, Freud decided to travel to Trieste and buy a buttload of eels. He spent countless hours fingering the fish, but never found the gratification he sought, leaving eel production a mystery. Before we go on, please don't forget to like this video and smash subscribe to get daily fish keeping updates and fun fish facts. To understand what makes an eel come, you need to know about the five stages of eel life cycle. The first stage is known as leptocephalus, which is science talk for, hey, you got a tiny <laughs> head. In the first 17 months of their lives, the larval eels are very transparent and compact. Eventually, the eels get tired of being tiny invisible toothpicks and move to an estuary. Once they reach the 18th month, the larval eels become glass eels, the next juvenile stage. As they metamorphosize, they become fully pigmented and their kidneys begin to retain extra salt to ease their transition into brackish water. However, the eels are still tiny little beta so they must move on to the third phase. The elver stage takes place when the eels are two to three years old. At this point, the eels have become nearly eight inches in length, making them look much more impressive when photographed next to a remote. The elver eels are a darker yellow color and will eat just about anything, including crustaceans, worms, and their own feelings. During the fourth stage, the eel continues to darken in color and may become brown, olive green, yellow, and black. European eels can stay in this stage for up to 20 years, feeding on invertebrates and other fish. Finally, in the fifth stage, the eel decides to literally nut up and grow a pair of balls, or ovaries, we won't tell you who to be and how to live. These sexually mature eels turn silver and grow to a staggering 31 inches in length. That's enough to make cis wet wince. These glorious, girthy then swim back towards the tropical sea to do it in the exact same place where their parents got laid. Aw, how romantic. Here's the thing. Nobody has actually ever seen this happen. 
Eels don't breed in captivity and we've never observed it in the wild. There has been a lot of money invested into trying to get eels to breed, but apparently they're more particular than John McAfee. Some especially creepy scientists attached trackers to female eels and, in 2022, announced they had successfully tracked them migrating to the Sargasso Sea, the long-suspected breeding ground of the eel. They were shocked to find that some eels may travel 3,000 miles over more than 18 months to reach the party. Amazingly, eels don't even stop to eat along the way. They become utterly dedicated to their desires, letting their stomachs degenerate. Their eyes even develop better night vision so they can't be stopped by the dark. When they arrive, the females lay their eggs in nests made from the male's saliva. Once they're done, they promptly yeet themselves into the void. Similarly, the males pull a David Carradine, spraying their load and then promptly dying. The remaining cloud spreads for miles, fertilizing the eggs and grossing out the locals. These eggs then drift on the ocean currents towards the places their parents grew up. There they will hatch, eventually growing up to make their own cum clouds. Alright, so now that you know where eels get laid, let's talk about some common types of eels in the fish keeping hobby. European eels can live an astonishing 85 years in the wild and nearly 55 years in captivity. This catadromous fish spends its adult life in freshwater rivers and streams where they become elvers. After 5 to 20 years, these European elvers gain weight and develop a yellow underside. This phase is known as the yellow eel stage, because scientists are incredibly imaginative. Aquarists in New Zealand are likely familiar with short fin and long fin eels. These eels have even longer lifespans and live in freshwater streams and lakes. Long fin eels are so named because they were discovered by Sir Phineas Longfin. Nah, I'm f***ing with you. It's because they have long fins. For real. Scientists, get creative for once. Want to guess where short fin eels got their name? Anyways, after traveling from New Zealand to the Sargasso Sea, the female longfin will release between 1 and 20 million eggs. The Japanese eel has been designated an endangered species by the IUCN and designated delicious by me. It is commonly found in Japan, Korea, China, and Vietnam. They are known for their dull gray, brown, and greenish tops, offset by white underbellies. Lastly, the African eel comes from Africa. Yep, it's olive, gray, and black with a light underside. They live in fast currents and can be found in the western Indian Ocean feeding on fish, crabs, and carrion. Okay, so, let's recap. Eel sex was a mystery until recently, and ancient humans had some pretty dumb theories. Eels don't develop sex organs until they reach the final stage of their life, at which point they travel across the world to the Sargasso Sea for a big ol' eel orgy cloud. Then, they all choose death over parenthood. So there we have it, mystery solved. Eel scientists have found their answers. The eels all got laid, and Aristotle and Pliny the Elder can rest easily knowing they're both f***ing If you enjoyed the video, make up your own ridiculous eel theory and post it in the comments. The crazier the better. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. You can also visit our website at AquariumStoreDepot.com for more information about the life cycle of the eel and other aquatic species. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.